Hello mga kasine, this is Bern Lomibaw and welcome to my very first episode of Sining Sine Study Sessions. This series of podcast sessions, we will talk about film. Pero ano nga ba ang film o ang pelikula? Many of us identify film to which also referred to as a movie. Motion picture, moving picture, a picture, a photo play or a flick. It is a piece of visual art that uses moving images to imitate experiences and convey ideas, narratives, perceptions, feelings, beauty, or an ambience. The term cinema or cinematography is frequently used to refer to the process of making films, the film industry, and the art forms that results from it. These visuals are typically accompanied by sound and less frequently additional sensory stimulations. However, for today's study session, we are going to talk about two topics. The first one is, how did the film come to be regarded as art? And the last one is, why do certain forms become conventional? Sigurado ako na marami sa atin, pag narinig natin ang saitang art or sining, ang una laging papasok sa ating kaisipan ay paintings, murals, or drawings. Also, another thing is for the architecture. Of course, nandyan din ang monuments, buildings, music for sure, um, dances of course, contemporary man yan, modern or zumba, or workout exercise. And, tama naman ang lahat ng yun. But, ano nga ba ang art? Ano nga ba ang sining? According to Oxford, art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. Typically, in a visual form such as painting or sculptures, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Another definition is the various branches of creative activity such as paintings, music, literature, and dance. Or this is what we call the visual arts. So now, going back to the first topic that we're going to discuss, how did the film come to be regarded as art? According to nofilmschool.com, The ability of movies to speak to the audience's emotions and establish a connection with each viewer through the moving image sets them apart from other forms of art in so many ways. Like a fine picture or painting, a movie can mean different things to different people, but there is always an impact on the audience. Also, The qualities that distinguish film as a great art form are specific. Movies are amazing because of different elements such as editing, camera movements, and the capacity of movie to introduce viewers to unseen realms. Another references on this is from... Tanner Hamilton. He is a freelance filmmaker and photographer. According to Tanner, cinema uses the same basic concepts as other art. Color, space, narrative, story, framing, composition, and many things are the same. Cinema is a form of art in which the viewer can become immersed and it which anything is possible. That is why filmmaking is such a gigantic industry. According to Tanner as well, cinema is regarded as art because it blends various artistic mediums, including acting, visual arts, music, and storytelling to provide the audience a visceral and emotional experience. It enables the investigation of various subjects, emotions, and viewpoints and can be utilized to make observations about society, culture, 
and the start of the human race. It also requires the filmmakers to have a high level of a technical expertise and imagination in order to realize the idea. Of course, with all this data and information, who would disagree that movies should be regarded as art? Sana wala na. For sure, with all this information, we were able to establish and we were able to emphasize that art or movie should be regarded as art. So now, let's move on to our last discussion or to our last topic. And that is, why do certain forms become conventional? So the forms we are talking about here is more of the film forms. And I would like to discuss first or let's establish what is conventional. So again, according to Oxford, paborito ko talaga si Oxford, um, based on or in accordance with what is generally done or believed. It is also an adjective for things that are normal, ordinary, or following the accepted way. So meaning, conventional, this is what we used to do. So it's more of kung ano yung nakasanayan, kung ano yung normal na ginagawa. It can be the standard of majority. It can be the ordinary things that we do. And what I found out from the Just Call Art that U.S. Traditional cinema histories are arranged using a linear, organic paradigm of genesis, growth, maturation, and decay. They argue that cinema's fundamental artistic expressive skills are found in its formal innovations, such as cross-cutting, high and low camera angles, scene dissection, and montage sequences rather than in its ability to record. They thought in early cinema, so this was way back the history, which used the tableau structure because it was the simplistic and undeveloped and naive film forms. Also, according to JuscalArt.us, Traditional film historians and classical film theorists like Rudolf Arnheim, he actually formed an opposition between recording capacity and art because they believe that cinema could only develop as a unique art form by working against its photographic recording ability. Therefore, according to Arnheim, Conventional film history sees the development of cinema as a steady marginalization of its recording potential in favor or formal approaches that distinguish film as a unique form of artistic expression. So overall, there should be no conventional film forms because every film should be different from one another since what i understood film is more of self-expression more of giving the narrative story so for sure wala namang movie talaga na magkakapareho dapat unless it's a series of stories of a such movie However, um, personally, I think the reason why some forms became conventional is because of film's marketability. Alam natin to for sure, especially in the Philippines. We make movies that will hit the box office. We consider what is trending instead of creating a form that will make a history on the Philippine cinema or putting the Philippine cinema on the pedestal in internationally. In addition, um, we also consider a large portion of the audiences who will watch this movie. We think more of the total 
profit of the production after the movie is being released. And apart from what I have mentioned, a film form also becomes conventional due to the convenience of a filmmaker. That's right. If it's conventional, it's easier, simpler, and more films can be produced. But of course, this is a challenge to the new generation of filmmakers that we can do more. And of course, we can do more. I believe that we can do more. Let's break the norms and let's always do what we should and what will bring honor to our name. And not only to our name, but also to our country. Well, that's all for me today. Thank you for listening to this first ever film study session. I hope you learned something from me today. And of course, uh, I'll be sharing more of this on our next study session. Again, this is Bird Lobibao. And ingat po kayo mga kasine. Bye!